live from Vestros, Sweden. Fight Club Rush presents three five-minute rounds at a contracted weight of 59 kilograms. Introducing first in the blue corner, his record one win and two defeats. Weighing in at 58.9 kilograms from Sweden, Rahula Yusefi. And his opponent in the red corner entering the cage for the 13th time. Weighing in at 58.9 kilograms, also from Sweden, Anton No Time Larsen. Your referee in charge of the action, Tom Crawford. Red. Okay, guys, we've been over the rules. Listen to my commands, touch gloves, back to the corner, let's fight. Intense. Yeah. That's the word. <laughs> 59 kilogram catch weight contest here between Rahula Yusufi in the blue corner and Anton No Time Lawson in the red. Fun fact, Lawson used to go by the nickname Crazy Ty. And a nickname that I think he also lives He's up to. He's still a crazy Ty. You, you gotta be a little crazy to take a murderous row of fights Ooh. on short notice. That's a hard kick from These Larson early. Yeah. Very smart of Larson to start off with the kicks against the boxer as well. Yeah, absolutely. You would not expect that, but as I mentioned, I mean, he does hold a first-round armbar victory here at FCR, so Yusufi does know how to get things done on the ground as well. Southpaw versus Orthodox here opens up the body kick on the power side. And Panny, are there any other aspects to think about when it's Southpaw versus Orthodox? Oh! Ooh. I will answer that soon. <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. Beautiful. Straight up and almost mount. Oh, this. Wow. Lawson is hurt. The pace is so high, I can even keep up. He gets the takedown, but still not safe. Beautiful work here from Anton. He got dropped, but he's... Wrestling for his life here, and he might end up in quite an advantageous position. Nice job by Yusofi spinning around there into a better position. And Anton seems cut. Maybe not. And now it's Yusofi throwing the kick. Yusofi looks like a hunter right now. Oh! Yeah. Oh, some nice shots there from Lawson, though. Yeah, he's, he's still game. These, these athletes are both super aggressive for being in this lower weight class. Yeah, well, both these guys, were, you know, they have kind of similar aggressive styles. They both like pressing the action. I mean, we're obviously now Lawson trying to regain his composure. Really impressed by uh, by Yusefis kicks there. And he's doing the right thing when he's fighting. Like, if you're fighting like a southpaw, you just want to have your front leg outside their leg. Nice right to the body there for Lawson, who's competed diligently in K1 and Muay Thai bouts as well. So both these fighters, very seasoned strikers for sure. And Larson doing the right thing. He's moving. He, he's trying to stay on the outside of his foot when Yusefi is going southpaw. Wow. Oh! Nice exchanges here. I think Lawson's still trying to sort of get back into the game here, find his balance, find his rhythm. Yeah, and I get the feeling that Yusufi was really looking for the finish, and, and he, he, could, he could smell the finish mm. early in the fight, and now he's kind of gathered himself again and composed himself, taken down the tempo a little bit, taking a little bit of oomph from the, the punches, because you cannot throw 100 percenters all the time. Yeah. And, and Yusuf is, it looks way well-rounded nowadays. Not only boxing, he is really throwing kicks and oblique kicks and like really mixing up his game. 
I think he's even in defeat. He's shown some very good skills. He had a, a decision loss to Renato Vidovic, one of the best flyweights in Scandinavia earlier this year. And honestly, I thought Yusufi looked pretty good despite the loss. He did. He had amazing uh, uh, defense against the submissions. Oh! Yes. The boxer throwing up the kicks. Oh, oh wow. Yes. Connecting hard right now with Yusufi. Oh, he lands the right hand. Oh, oh Mosul's hurt. Oh. Anton is wobbly right now. There is a takedown. Yeah, I was kind of expecting it. Not a good position, though. Anton Lawson is a warrior. Wow. Oh. No doubt about that. He's got he, half a minute before the round ends. Can he make it? He went for that takedown when he spinned in that kick. Okay, this Sophie out of the clinch. Final 10 seconds. Sophie's corner calling for the finish. Wow, what a round. I feel like Anton Lawson's, uh, his experience is really coming through actually yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he, he's getting cracked and he, he knows what to do when he's hurt. Yeah. He is, he is, he's um, recovering really good in this oh, fight. Oh, yeah. His definitely. recovery in this fight looks better than ever, actually, because he's been hit with some hard punches and kicks. I think a less experienced fighter would probably have gotten finished at, in one of those many situations you saw in the first time. I mean, look at this crazy That's, action. Yeah. That ground and pound, and he is resentless. Like, he won't stop going for that takedown. That kick. Oh. I thought that was the end. Yeah, front side to the face a, a lot of times does mean the end. Yeah. Oh. And this save, he, Larson saved himself here. I mean, it's hard to find a fighter with more guts than Anton Lawson. Yeah. I mean, for real. He just is a warrior's warrior. Well, Crazy Ty is coming out now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sure is. And martial arts action star Jet Li is one of Anton Lawson's childhood heroes that he's looked up to. and kind of inspired him to get into martial arts himself. I was always more of a Jackie Chan guy, but nothing <laughs> wrong with Jet Li. Here we go. I wonder if we're going to see another one of Yusufi's high kicks. Especially from south southpaw position. Oh. Fast. Oh, oh, he goes down again. Oh. oh. It looked like Lawson yep. was out, yes. but he's back. Wow, well, the referee it? was just inches away from yeah. finishing. Interesting positioning here. Yusuf needs to turn, yes. But Larson is creative. Yeah. Such a veteran. Just missed with that strike, did you, Sophie? Oh. Oh, Lawson is on thin ice yeah. here. He's hurt. Yeah, he's ice skating right now. Oh, he goes down again. And that is it. Wow, another knockout finish for Rahula, you, Sophie. Wow. Wow. He's got some power in those hands. And the finishes, I mean, we keep racking them up right now. We can't stop the pace. This is not our fault. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a roller coaster of action and emotion. I'll tell you that, Penny. And shout out again to Anton Lawson for yeah. taking the fight on short yes. notice, as always. Coming in here, putting up a fight, putting up a show. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he, he looks really good. And it, it's... It's hard to see this, but because he's such a good fighter. Yeah. 
I mean, I mean, definitely. He proved he proved several times yeah. during this fight that he, that he is much better than his record would suggest. But Raul uh, Yusefi, I mean, he wants to be the best flyweight in Scandinavia, yeah. he, and this is a good way. He's on route to doing yeah. that. I mean, how about those two strikes there that dropped his opponent? That was vicious. Very solid performance. Let's see if the if the fight is cursed, yes. the fight that he wants. Let's see if we get an interesting call out here from uh, Rohula, maybe. Well, this is such a <laughs> Khabib and Tony thing, you know? Something is always happening. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tom Corford calls to stop the action at 58 seconds of round number two. For your winner by knockout, Rohula Yusefi! All right, congratulations. Another knockout victory. That's two knockouts in a row. How do you feel about that? Uh, it feels... It feels good for this. <laughs> Jag kommer att se på svenska så min tränare kan fortsätta på eh, tolka på svenska. Alltså det, det känns jätteskönt faktiskt. Eh, jag har kört efter den sista match mot Fadi Asfar. Så jag har brukt med knä. Så min check har gått sönder. Efter den jag har tränat och bara tänkte att jag skulle sluta det här fucking fight. Så bara tänkte nej. Du måste gå tillbaka. Visa det. Du ska aldrig ge upp. Det där är inte min grej. Jag har kört många boxning. Jag har boxning SM. Jag har boxning VM och andra saker. Internationellt. Men jag säger nej. Du, kör, du, du måste gå. Fortsätta hela vägen. Aldrig sluta. Jag är väldigt tacksam från Altan. Min lärare Hussein. Alla mina coach och mina bästa team. Mark Fight. Så jag är väldigt glad att ha dem bredvid mig. Så det känns skönt faktiskt. Du vet. All right. Shortly, um, I was uh, I was about to give up, but I uh, kept pushing, and it feels great to be back. And you know, two win column, and yeah, I'm just happy to be here, man. And you had him hurt several times. I think four times. What was going through your mind when you saw him get dropped time and time again? <laughs> Alltså bara den första gången jag tänkte, okej, okay, det här är handskarna med tomma handskarna. Så om det träffar, det är riktigt ont faktiskt. Jag, var, jag, jag, jag själv vet det här, jag hörde det. Jag fick flera gånger, jag fick varla hårt knä. Så bara, okej, okay, nu, nu, det kommer tid, det kommer tid. Det är hundra procent, det kommer bli nok. Så det är bara det att pressa honom, pressa honom, in, ut, in, ut, in, ut. Tills jag kände, okej, okay, nu han kommer ge upp. Men han var krigare. Han hade inte så mycket tid. Han hoppade in. Jag är väldigt tacksam. Så Zoran Melic, Jenny Tuma, eh, Nåd Jenny Tuma, Flod, Irinato Vidovic. Så är eh, alltid. Jag, jag vet inte deras namn, men jag känner från hans sida. Irinato Vidovic, eh, Zoran Melic. Let's go, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Let's do the fucking this. Yeah, I'm here. Let's do this. Thin gloves. I knew what had to come, so I, I got had a good shot. And thanks to my opponent for taking the fight on a short notice. And I'm just happy I won. I know he challenged two of the two great guys from Sweden, Zora Milic and Renato. So hopefully we get one of them. And does this mean that we can see you FCR 15, Stockholm, February, maybe against one of those two guys? Hundred percent. I'm ready. Give me just the one. Just give me what just of the them. Who are who is? We go again. Yeah, we go again. Right. Yeah, me them some health. Yeah, I ready. But let's go. Let's fight. You fight Munga boxing. So I them. Then your motor dom. The bara prata bok. Where they? But come sure in the in the edge. Do we know it or you know it? So that is like some little hood. They bara fight. Spoken like a true Afghan warrior, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for a winner, Rahula Yusofi. Mubarak Suna, get out of here. That's a good.